hello from slide nerd and hello from weeps what's up folks in this vid i'm going to talk about a simple java program related to strings where we find out how many uppercase letters how many lowercase letters how many spaces how many alphabets how many numbers are inside a string so this is a very simple program let me show you the output just to make sure that you guys are clear with it here you have the string yo man what's up blah 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 characters uppercase there are six lowercase 20 spaces nine numbers one special characters now special characters are your dollar sign percentage hash comma question mark there are five of them right so i'm gonna go into netbeans and show you guys how this thing works before i show you anything over here i have my empty project webs which is inside my slide nerd package and i have my main function i'm gonna make a simple character first by saying char ch equals to a and we are gonna try and see how to find out whether this is an uppercase or lowercase or digit now if you guys don't know there is a class called character this class has some useful methods that deal with how to det determine which type of character we are dealing with right so if you say character dot is uh, we can say digit we need to pass this ch inside this is gonna give us a boolean telling whether ch is a digit or not so I'm gonna store that inside a result saying boolean result I can simply go ahead and print the result out by saying system dot out dot print ln so now if I say control s shift f6 it'll say false because this is a alphabet right if I put one over here then bam it says true the same way if I put a space over here I can test whether there's a space inside my character by saying character dot is white space so now this is gonna give me a true because we actually have a space over here if I had some other character over here this is gonna give a false right the same way you have several methods over here that can test different things inside your character and that's why this character class is very useful I'm gonna go use this class and find the string that is whatever we had oh my god or whatever something like that I'm gonna take that string divide that into different characters and for each character I'm gonna test all the conditions alright so let's actually figure out what are the different conditions we have first let me actually put the string by saying string s equals to alright so for any character it can be an alphabet it can be a number or it can be a special character or it can be a white space right so let's actually figure out those four parts perfectly by saying if character class use the character class static methods all right so first i'm going to test if character is an alphabet by saying if character class dot is i'll use the is alphabetic method if i'll and then pass the ch inside this is going to give me a boolean this boolean will be either true or false right so if it is true the if condition is going to run otherwise it's not going to run so let me put a simple system dot out dot print ln for now so right now i'm just testing if this a is an alphabet or not it's going to be obviously true it's going to be an alphabet right but if i put something like space over here nope it's not underscore over here nope again not if i put a number like five over here nope it's not so it's working perfectly now let's go ahead and make our next condition by saying is else if character dot is digit I'm gonna again pass the CS this is gonna tell me this time whether this is a digit or not I'll say digit over here and bam this time it says 5 is a digit if I put A over here then it's gonna say A is an alphabet so you guys can see it's working perfectly otherwise we can test for our special cases right so else I'm gonna make a last else over here so in this case anything other than these characters is gonna be a special character right so I'm gonna just say uh, system.out.println I'll simply say special over here and let's see what happens alpha yep it's working so if I remove a or one which is number uh, alphabet and digit right if I put something like space over here it's gonna be special character if I put star over here it's gonna be a special character right so here inside our alphabet there are two possible things either it's an up uppercase alphabet or it's a lowercase alphabet right so I'm gonna put another if else inside by saying if character dot is uppercase then in that case this is what we should say right we'll say upper upper alpha else simply lower alpha over here now the reason why i have put this if else inside this if statement is because uppercase and lowercase come into the picture only when your character is alphabetic right numbers don't have uppercase and lowercase so that's the reason i want to make sure that this part stays only within uh, alphabetic part right so let's actually go ahead and run this yeah it's a special character if i put a small a over here it's a lower alphabet if I put a capital A over here it's an upper alphabet so it's working perfectly here again for the special characters let me actually test if there is a white space or not I'll say if character class dot is white space ch then we'll simply put a system dot dot print ln and we'll call it white space otherwise it forms a special character right so now if I go and run this by saying control s shift f6 let's say upper alpha of course character A is capital A over here if I put a space over here it's going to be white space if i put a star over here it's going to be a special character so our loop is actually working perfectly if i put a nine over here 
then that's a digit right that's perfectly separated everything out so what we need to do now is we need to take this entire string and we need to get each character and for each character we have to count how many times we get an alphabet and how many times right so if you guys remember from our earlier programs we need a counter variable right we need to count how many uppercase letters are there how many lowercase how many digits how many white spaces and how many special characters so let's actually make five integer variables by saying int uh, counter for each right so i'm going to call the first one uppercase counter and so on i'll name all other variables the same way so now at this point i have five variables which is uppercase counter is zero lowercase counter is zero digit counter white space counter and special counter all of them are zeros right so each time when i find something i want to increase the counter so when i find uppercase letter what i want to do is i want to increase the number of uppercase counters by one right i'm going to say simply plus plus over here same way when i find a lowercase letter i want to increase the lowercase counter by one and I do the same procedure for the rest of the digits out here. So at this point I have increased the values of the respective counters at the right places. For example, when we find a digit, every time we find a digit, the digit counter goes, increases by one. So now there's only one thing left undone. That is to separate this entire string into its individual characters. And for each character, we need to test this entire thing, right? This entire condition for the each character. So what I'm gonna do is, if you guys remember, we can do this, the splitting part in many ways. I'm gonna use a for loop by saying for int i is 0 I want to scan each character inside the string so I'm gonna say for i is 0 i less than s dot length i plus plus and I'm gonna put this entire condition inside the for loop right alt shift f to format stuff and at this point my for loop is up now what I want to do inside the for loop is I want to check each character by saying s dot care at index right this is for, for the first character this is gonna give me y for the next one it's gonna give me oh the third one's gonna give me the space and so on so s dot care at i function is gonna give me all those characters so i'm gonna store them inside this care ch and well for the rest of the part we are done right i'm gonna remove the upper ch and bam we are done so this ch is gonna have the current character for the first part it's be it's gonna be y then it's gonna be zero i mean o then space then m then a and so on and for each time the ch will be compared against all these conditions right else if else blah 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 and the counter will be increased so at the end of the for loop we can actually print how many times we have found each of the stuff by saying a system dot dot print ln for each right so now the full program is finally done let me again show you guys what has been going on i have the string s over here i'm taking a for loop so that i have to scan through each character for each character i get the character by saying s dot caret i right this is gonna give me the current character inside the for loop and then for each character i use this condition which says if else if else right and then if it's an alphabet then it's either an uppercase or a lowercase if it's a digit fine if it's a special character then it's either a white space or something else right and every time when i find something i increase the counter respectively i have five counter variables over here each one with respect to that particular uh, thing right like uppercase lowercase digits and so on and in the end I simply print them out so let's actually run this and see what happens control s shift f6 number of uppercase is 6 lowercase is 20 number of digits is 1 white spaces is 9 number of special characters is 5 you can go on count each of these things inside the string and exactly let me know if things are working perfectly I hope you guys have understood something out of this bit it was a pretty simple program if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Have a nice day.